Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I find Instagram is a growing amazing place to find and buy really great quality, sometimes great quality, on trend clothes that don't cost a whole load of money. And I've got some things here that I'm gonna try on with you and see what they're like. The first item's this. I loved the color of it, but I love it even more now I see it. It is a ruffle blouse and it's got on the top of it, it sort of looks a bit like the Gucci thing there. I should also say before I go and get changed, this jumper I also got from Instagram and everything I'm gonna show you is from the one Instagram account. This is quite nice, I really like this. I would probably tuck it in, but it's really pretty and I'm just gonna show you the sleeves as well. So the sleeves are sort of three quarter and this is it sort of side on. Now I would obviously tuck this in. Let me just try and do like a bad job of it right now. I think that's really quite nice. I totally forgot to mention in this video and in case it's not um, obvious, what I'm really just trying to do is show you first sight of some of the things that I bought. But what I'd like to do is I'm going to be doing more videos where I actively show you how I would personally style these things. So if you would like videos like that, then please comment below and let me know. I think with high waisted jeans or trousers, this would look really good. Amazing, pleased with this. The next item, and I already have one of these in grey, but it came out in a new colour. This, and in fact the one I've got doesn't have like a frilly neck on it. Do you remember, I tried on something really similar to this in Club Monaco, only it was a dress and it was like over £200. Well this is £30. I love the colour of it, and on the sleeves it's got like a little bow. Now the one that I've got, I wear quite a lot. It's, I like these fine knits. Oh my gosh. This is my absolute favorite so far. The color of it is so nice. Now it's a bit creased because it's been in that bag, but can you see it's got like a frill around the bottom. This was one size as well from memory. The sleeves are also really nice and the collar. I've got it with these, um, don't know if you can tell, these are like dark grey. This is the other jumper. Everything's really crinkled. The other jumper is this. This has got um, pearls and faux fur on the sleeves. Now with faux fur, I feel like you have to be quite careful with it because the amount of things that you see that are labelled as faux and they turn up and they're blatantly the real thing. And like the way you can tell real fur from faux is that real fur tapers off at the end, like it gets really thin into like a point at the end. Whereas faux fur, regardless of how good the quality is, it's one length all the way and then it's like chopped at the end. And also if you part the faux fur, at the bottom you'll see that it attaches to like material, like material has got like holes in it. Whereas with real, it's really obvious, it's like on skin. This is really nice as well. I feel like it looks a bit big on me though. This was one size, this was 38.99 from memory. It otherwise, it's a real shame actually, because otherwise I, I really like it. The collar on it's really nice. It's sort of like a slight turtleneck which I'll just show you there. On the sleeves, this is all sort of like woven in. Details on the arm. By the way, I'm really sorry about the side camera. I'm sure it's probably really annoying, but when I try and do that, I'll do it slowly so you don't feel ill. When I try and do that, it's really hard to, maybe if I zoom in a bit. Does that work? The quality is really good. The fabric is really quite thick, but it's smooth. It's not like a scratchy sort of knitted thing. I got two of these. They are a fine knit jumper that look like they've got a shirt underneath. I got one in this color, which is like a lilac. And then I also got one in gray. And on the neck, can you see it's got like little crystals? I haven't done up the back of the neck. Oh, I like it. It does feel a bit bit big though but it's nice I do like can you see 
it just feels a bit like a skirt, like a trapeze. But I like the look of it. It does look a bit... Mm. The colour is the best thing. I really wanted to start getting some like light pinks and just lighter colours for going into spring eventually when it arrives here. But yeah, this is really pretty. I think this is one this is one size. Every all of it's one size. There's the neckline there. I probably I probably won't keep this. Only because on me it's sort of doing that. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's kind of it's kind of big but not in like a cool way. This also came in you could get quite a few colors in this. There was a fuchsia color a, like a cornflower blue, there was yellow. Oh, I do like it. Oh, it's just a shame. Like, can you, can you see what I mean? It's quite. The nice thing with buying, I've just left that undone. <laughs> just ignore that. I don't tend to buy expensive designer items, except for statement pieces like a coat or a jacket or a dress or something. But doing the whole Instagram thing, all I do, by the way, is I just look at people that I follow and if I see something they like and they've tagged where, it, where it's from, nine times out of 10, it's from small online boutiques that sell this stuff at not a lot of money. This is the gray version. Really nice shade of gray, actually. The final item is another blouse similar to earlier, but it hasn't got so much of the ruffle going on on the front and it's in a white color. I think you could get these in other colors as well, but I wanted to go for this. This was 25 pounds and on the sleeves, it's got like the striped detail. It's trying to be Gucci, but the weird thing is, don't you think at the moment, I was looking on Zara the other day and on ASOS as well, and the amount of brands that are pu putting like this boat and, and River Island, oh my God, that was another one. The amount of brands putting this stuff on things and I'm just like, how are Gucci not getting annoyed? This is on it, let me just point you down. This is really pretty. And I think with this, if you tucked that in more, like with a higher pair of like trousers or whatever, I think that could look quite nice. What do you think? Instagram, honestly, is becoming my favorite place to buy clothes. I just, I love it. It's almost novelty as well at the moment because it's not the kind of place that you would expect to find like stores. And I don't mean stores like Topshop and Miss Selfridge, like the regular stores. I mean like independent boutiques where you can get some like really cool quirky things. For any of you into fashion and you like the idea of like fast fashion, being able to change things up, but, you're sick of everyone looking the same. Like, you know when you go in Zara and everyone's wearing the stuff in there, or you go in Topshop and the stuff in there is really, everyone's wearing it. And I'm really enjoying Instagram at the moment because you can get things that are a little bit more unique that you wouldn't find in a lot of these stores. So if you want something different, then hopefully these will help. Some of the stuff, by the way, I should say, some of the stuff that I buy isn't on their feed, it's in their Instagram stories. And I just DM them and then they send me like a PayPal and that's how I pay for it. Some of the other Instagram accounts that I will talk to you about as the stuff arrives, with those, some of them actually have dedicated websites. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the outfits, whether you like them or you don't. Have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video.